Let's now talk about the turmoil within the tech sector. The layoffs continue and now Amazon has announced plans to cut staff. How many employees is it planning to let go of? Around 10,000 people. That represents about 3% of Amazon's corporate employees. This may sound like a small number, but it's not. Amazon is undertaking one of the largest job cuts in the company's history. Who stands to lose their job? Some reports have emerged. Staff is being cut in Amazon's devices division. Employees working on the voice assistant Alexa, retail, human resources department could be asked to leave. This is, you know, obviously a significant cut for Amazon relative to historical. You know, still, it, it's not significantly moving the needle relative to, you know, global workforce. But I think it's where they're targeting. I think, you know, if you look at Alexa and some of these other areas, I think these are some of the disruptive technology areas that ultimately are going to have to get cut. Why is this happening? Well, Amazon says it is facing some challenging times. Last month, the company implemented a hiring freeze. Some projects have been culled as well. The e-commerce giant has reduced its warehouse space, halted experiments, and closed its telehealth service. Why did Amazon feel the need to cut costs? An internal memo has the answers. This was written by Amazon's HR chief, Beth Jaleti. I'm quoting, we are facing an unusual macroeconomic environment and want to balance our hiring and investments with being thoughtful about this economy. Economic uncertainty. Even the founder of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, is worried about the economy. He recently gave an interview to an international news outlet. Bezos was asked if a recession had started. And this is the answer that he gave. The economy does not look great right now. Things are slowing down. You are seeing layoffs in many sectors. My advice to people is to take some risk off the table. If you are going to make a purchase, maybe slow down on that purchase. Basically, Bezos is telling people to save money. Amazon seems to be taking this advice seriously. And they are not the only ones, unfortunately. Several other tech giants are concerned about economic uncertainty. In recent weeks, all major players have slashed their workforce. Elon Musk's Twitter reduced its workforce by half. Meta, the parent company of Facebook, is letting go of 11,000 employees. Lyft, Stripe, Snap, Microsoft, they have all announced layoffs as well. Over the past week, Silicon Valley alone has laid off 20,000 employees. So clearly, it is an industry-wide trend, a symptom of a bigger problem. I think dark times in tech. We're seeing it at Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, and others. The clock struck midnight on hypergrowth. And now you're seeing the cuts across the board. Amazon is no different. And this is really a rationalization of cost structure in slower growth times. And experts believe this could be just the beginning. There are growing fears of layoffs in other sectors. Already, some of the leading names are showing signs of strain. Entertainment giant uh, Disney is implementing a targeted hiring freeze. The company is already anticipating job cuts. And this comes after Disney reported a loss in the last financial quarter. E-cigarette company Jewel Labs narrowly escaped bankruptcy. It has decided to lay off about 30% of its staff. Johnson & Johnson is looking looking at job cuts as well. The healthcare conglomerate saying it is looking to right-size itself, quote-unquote. Job cuts are happening in the banking sector too. Barclays let go of 200 employees, Citigroup, 50 employees before them, Goldman Sachs and Wells Fargo cut jobs too. Business leaders in America at least seem to be convinced. Recently, KPMG conducted a survey of top CEOs. More than 90% of them believe a recession is on the way. Over 50% of the CEOs say they are planning preemptive layoffs. That too within the next six months. 
In October, job cuts by American companies jumped by 13%. Over 30,000 jobs were affected last, mo last month itself. And this is the highest number of cuts since February 2021. If the American employers are ailing, there is a good chance that the rest of the world might feel the impact of a recession in America. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.